Hi guys, welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome to today's video. How are you all doing? Now, one skincare trend that will never goes away is glowing skin. Now, if you agree with me, feel free to comment. There are so many of us that is obsessed with having a glowing skin. Now, I'm gonna show you something uh, very quick when it comes on to glowing skin. And I'm also gonna ask a question. What, when you hear the word glowing skin or the phrase glowing skin, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? Is it natural looking skin? Is it highlighter? Is it makeup? What comes to your mind when you hear about glowing skin? Now for me, for a very, very long time, glowing skin is a natural skin. The skin itself, clean skin, clear skin, no form of makeup, no form of moisturizer, no form of a uh, facial toner or any form of a hydrator. For me, that is what I consider glowing skin, that clean skin that is clear from hyperpigmentation and just looking clean, clear, hydrated and supple without all of the wonderful things that we apply to the skin. However, for many, many people out there, when they hear the word glowing skin, the first thing that they could think about is highlighter. And uh, I have uh, no issue with highlighters for glowing skin. It also helps the skin to glow. However, there are so many natural ingredients out there that you can use on your skin to get that natural glow to the skin. I'm not saying not to use the highlighter because when all else fail and you're looking for that quick glow, the highlighter definitely will give it to you. But I also want to let you know that the highlighter do works best on clean, clear, hydrated, glowing skin. So today we are gonna talk about natural ingredients that can have your skin glowing effortlessly, like effortlessly. So what I did, I break it down into groups, different groups. In order to have your skin looking amazing, looking younger, looking fresher, and having that natural glow, there are certain things that you need to do to take care of the skin. You have to exfoliate the skin, which we talk about every day. You need to use some good vitamins on your skin. You need to hydrate the skin, and I'm gonna throw in, you need to do some facial massages on the skin. So in that group, we're going to have five natural way to effortly get glowing skin using natural ingredients. So here we are today and we're going to start. But before we get into all of that, welcome to Let's Talk Skincare with Chichi Beauty. On Let's Talk Skincare, we talk about skincare on a whole, not only natural, but everything that is going on in the skincare world and uh, basically how to take care of your skin, new invention, not so new invention, and so on and so forth. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do a mix of uh, things, a mix of, uh, of uh, natural versus synthetic ingredients, but more so natural ones that you probably already have in your home, in your kitchen, or you could just get it at your regular grocery store and you can just use it on your skin to get glowing skin. We talk about 
step that you have to follow effortly doesn't mean that you're not going to do anything at all you're just going to sit back and get glowing skin no you're going to put a little bit of effort in it by making the stuff or by just applying it to your skin and that is what it means effortlessly with skincare all right so welcome to let's talk skincare with chicha beauty if you have a routine or if there's something that you follow to have your skin glowing feel free to share and comment hello mona moya marison hello hello lucy and guys if you see lucy commenting a lot on the chat it means that we made her our moderator for the chat so she could always you know answer a bit of a questions and also um leave some comments um suggestion all right so guess what guys um Jay Duchess, how are you? We have Karen McDowell, how are you? We also have Edith, hi Edith, how are you? Gina, Gina, regular. Hi Jason, how are you? We have makeup. I haven't seen makeup forever for a while. You know, I, I know you guys and maybe you're on. I just didn't see you for a while on the chat, that is. All right, so we have Annette. Hello, Annette. Annette Williams, that is. We have um, Fidel Key, I think that's how you pronounce it, F-I-D-E-L-E-K-Y-W. We also have um, C Citra, C-H-I-T-H-R-A, hello from India. We also have Maria, hello Maria, Maria um, Stylenova, Stylenova. And we also have Tuba, regular on the chat, Tuba S, that is Veronica Kaditi, how are you doing well? Sabi Kang, hello. Diablo, regular on the chat, Marine Coke. Um, how are you from Ireland? How are you all doing over there? Green milk alcohol. All right, Laura, Laura, Laura Norboro, I think that is. And we have Peggy, Peggy Shingler. We also, I love combining my kitchen creation with skin and hair treatment. Thank you. And we have Princess Amin. So those are some of the people watching today. I consider today's show to be a very interesting show because it's a topic that I personally like. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna actually start off the show with our first step to glowing skin. And the first step to glowing skin is to bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, exfoliate the skin. We all know that you gotta wash your skin and you're gonna exfoliate the skin. But what is a good ingredient, a natural ingredient that you can use on your skin that is not only gonna, you know, just do the regular blah, 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 but it's gonna leave your skin glowing. And that, if you are a regular subscriber, a regular watcher of my channel, you probably already know the answer to that. A very good natural ingredient for effortlessly glowing skin is none other than brown sugar. Yeah, I said it, I said it. Yeah, brown sugar. Now, why brown sugar? Because brown sugar will do a number on your skin when it comes on to cleaning your skin. It is gonna have to get rid of the grease, the dirt from the environment, the dead skin cells, it's gonna unclog the pores. And the reason for all of that is because it contain the good old glycolic acid. Now, what does this glycolic acid do to the skin? Glycolic acid helps to get rid of hyperpigmentation on the skin. It helps to clear the skin and fade those dark spots and blemishes on the skin. Not only that, if you have like acne prone skin, that is also amazing to have to clear the skin up by cleaning out those pores. So brown sugar, natural as it gets. Now, some of you are gonna ask, okay, so brown sugar have glycolic acid. What about white sugar? Tum, 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 tum. White sugar do contains glycolic acid also, but you're gonna find more glycolic acid in the brown sugar because it's less a process. Not only is it less processed, but the brown sugar also is softer than the white sugar. So 
as easy as that is, natural as it gets. You have all different types of brown sugar out there today when it comes on to the process of making the brown sugar. You have brown sugar that is on the darker side, the lighter side. You also have brown sugar, like sugar. And if I say that, they probably think I'm endorsed in a brand, so I got to be careful. But anyway, brown sugar is more like in the raw stage, unlike um, white sugar, that would be more like it's cooked. I think that's the best way I could explain the difference between brown sugar and white sugar in terms of the way that it is made. So I use a lot of brown sugar because I like it more raw for say, if you get the gist of what I'm saying. While if you use the white sugar, it's like you're using cooked sugar. It's not cooked. I'm just trying to find an easy way to explain the difference. More process more machines than the brown sugar. So definitely one natural ingredient that you can find to use on the skin. And if you use it on a regular, you're almost guaranteed that you're gonna get glowing skin effortlessly and that is the brown sugar. Now I'm gonna go into how can you use this brown sugar? It's pretty easy and believe it or not, you can choose to just take a tablespoon of brown sugar and you can choose to just use a teaspoon of water in the brown sugar and use it to exfoliate the skin. But knowing us, we're not gonna be comfortable with just doing that. We like to add things to that brown sugar. So you can choose to add some olive oil if you have dry skin. You can also choose to add any form of a fruit. You could add some aloe vera to the brown sugar to further help to clear the spots and blemishes up. And if you have a sensitive skin, guys, this is one ingredient that most people will, with sensitive skin can use on their skin and that is the brown sugar. So there is no excuse not to exfoliate the skin. I know sometimes when I talk and I bring on these topics, some people find it a little boring because like, ah, uh, it's too much technical things, but very, very important. So I already did number one and we're going to move on to number two, but let me hear what you guys are saying on the chat before we move on to number two. Jen Lin, G-E-N-L-I-N, thank you so much for your donation. Now guys, there's a little dollar sign at the end of the talk. And Jen Lin just show you an example. If you want to contribute something to the channel, it doesn't have to be an arm and a leg. You can just click that dollar sign and you could donate something to the channel, okay? Also, when you do that, your chat is going to be highlighted so that I could see it clearly. It's a way for me to see you. And also, if you have a question, that question will also come up on the top. Now, Jason, in Guadeloupe, we use sugar cane made in our island yes 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 and brown sugar or sugar well nowadays they have so many different kinds of ways of getting sweetener but sugar is made mostly from sugar cane all right and just a little history i actually grew up um, pretty close to sugarcane plantation, like really pretty close and no shame in my game. My father, when I was a kid, my father used to go to the sugarcane plantation. That is his job to begin with. And he used to, um, help to cut the, the sugarcane, load it up and some, what they call those again, trailers. And you know, then they take it to the sugarcane factory. Nowadays, I don't know if they still do these things, but when I was a child in the early seventies, that was, you know, the way that they prepare sugar. All right, so um, Robin Picker Simmer, Hi, first time here. Welcome, welcome to Let's Talk Skincare with Ch Ch Beauty. Feel free to ask a question. Feel free to interact with the others on the chat. AK Channel, um, I ladies, and then we have Princess. I use it with tomato. And that's another one that is really, really good. Mixing the brown sugar with tomato, and you can actually use a little bit of oil with it coconut, your favorite oil. All right, guys. Now the second step for glowing skin, we need to 
use a form of a vitamin on the skin because since we're looking glowing skin, we are going to use the vitamin that is going to give the skin that natural glow. And if you're on the chat and you know which vitamins that give the skin a natural glow, feel free to comment. Comment, comment before I, I say it. Let me see if anyone on the chat know the main vitamin that can have your skin glowing once used on a regular. That's the next vitamin we are going to talk about. And the vitamin, since I'm not seeing any, is um, vitamin C. Now, you all right, here comes the vitamin C, all right, and the vitamin E. So we're going to talk about vitamin C. Now, what natural ingredient can we use to get vitamin C? Now, guys, I know you all know the regular vitamins, um, ingredients that you could get vitamin C from, natural vitamin C, such as the oranges and all of those citrus fruit that contain loads of vitamin C. But today I'm going to introduce a new ingredient to you, and that is what skincare talk is all about. Now, I'm going to take my time to pronounce it, is a camu. Camu. If you are on the chat and you are familiar with Camu Camu, feel free to comment. It's C A M U C A M U. If you know what Camu Camu is, comment, comment, comment before we get on. Now, guys, this Camu Camu is a form of a berry, and it is mostly found in places like. Peru and the Amazon, like way out there. I'm in America, so for me, that is far. Whenever I use the word the Amazon and all these, I always think like it's so far. Okay, so now Camu Camu is a vitamin C that is basically taking the skincare world by storm. Now, why is that? Why is this Kamu Kamu taking the skincare world by storm? You can find Kamu Kamu in very high end products. And I could show a few names around, like Peter Thomas Roth. And, you know, if you're into skincare, some of you might know what those are and some might not. Like really high end skincare products that you find this amazing Kamu 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 is. And someone on the chat, that's why I was delaying a little. I just want to see if there's somebody out there know what I'm talking about. And this Peggy Schindler, S-C-H-I-N-D-L-E-R. And she said, yes, Kamu Kamu is packed with a vitamin C. Not only is it packed with vitamin C, but it has at least 100 times more vitamin C than oranges, okay? 100 times more vitamin C than oranges. And that is the reason why they are now using the Kamu 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 for its vitamin C properties. And not only that, it is, guess what? Natural. It is natural, natural, natural. It's just a little old berry. And what they're doing with this berry, they're taking the juice, but mostly you're going to find it like in powder form. And our Amazon do have it in powder form. And if you want me guys to come on the channel and use and make some nice Kamu Kamu facial stuff for you guys, we definitely will do it. So guys, guess what? When you're done with this chat, what I want you all to do is to go and research the Kamu Kamu for your natural vitamin C. Now, if you notice how I take this, I introduced the vitamin C and now I'm giving you the natural vitamin C. That is loaded. Now, guys, I know some of you are going to be like, oh, where are we going to get this Kamu Kamu Kamu? Anyway, not to worry, it's Let's Talk Skincare. And on Let's Talk Skincare, this is what we do. We introduce new ingredients so that you could go research it and get familiar with it and, you know, so on and so forth. However, we also have the kiwi, and a lot of us know the kiwi, but the kamu, kamu have about 80 um, times more vitamin C than the kiwi. So definitely it's, you know, on trend for the vitamin C, but 
back to the basic you can go ahead and you can use your regular vitamin c such as your oranges your you know your grapefruit your kiwi to get your natural vitamin c from natural ingredient that you can effortly use for glowing skin and what more is going to give you that glowing skin than the citrus fruit okay now there is lemon and there is lime there is a kiwi i love grapefruit nowadays i'm not seeing a lot of grapefruit products around but let's say about five to ten years ago no, about seven eight years ago there was like a lot of grapefruit products on the market like a lot like grapefruit facial wash grapefruit you know exfoliator and all these amazing grapefruit stuff grapefruit however get a very bad rap because grapefruit tend to interact with a certain medication so a lot of people try to like ah oh, stay away from grapefruit but if you are applying something topically to your skin well give and take because you know medical wise some people are gonna say it go through the pores and all of that kind of stuff but definitely if you have some grapefruit you have no condition no nothing and you want a good facial scrub with vitamin c as natural as it could get use get cut open a grapefruit and just use it to exfoliate your skin just apply it to your skin and soak up all that goodness now back to the kamu 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 now kamu kamu come in many forms tablets and powder okay now for me cleansing from within is amazing it's gonna show on the outside and you're gonna get that glow on the outside so you can choose to try the kamu powder in your smoothies to get that boots off you know vitamin c or you can use the kamu powder to use it topically on your skin after you cleanse the skin with your brown sugar and you definitely will reap outwards and inwards um result um, from that kamu 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 all right so i hope you are apples apples do contain peptin yes 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 that and i don't use a lot of apples on my channel however personally for me i use apple i don't know why i just think that um maybe because i'm from the island and i know that a lot of people don't have access to the apple unless they import it and then it costs a little bit of a penny and that's one of the reasons why i don't use a lot of apples but if you have access like you know we're just out of apple season going out of apple season here in america and you have a lot of apples sometimes when i make stuff you could you know um you could substitute certain ingredients and use your apples just use what you have so kamu kamu i also have another one that um is loaded and this one I have about 20 times more um vitamin c than oranges and this one is kakadu plum anyone on the channel know anything about kakadu plum is k-a-k-a-d-u plum and a plum again and that that here is where the trend is going these days guys definitely turn to your berries if you notice a lot of people no we are i don't think they're gonna have the kamu kamu in jamaica i doubt that i doubt that but definitely you might be able to see it like online and so on if you know anything about the kaka do kakadu and it's a form of a plum if you know anything about it feel free to comment all right guys so we're gonna we're still talking about natural ingredient that you can use effortlessly on your skin for glowing skin we are breaking it up in different segment because we need you to know that you have to exfoliate the skin you have to hydrate the skin and use a brightening agent there are many fruits and vegetables out there that you can use on your skin to get your skin glowing i just want to you know list it in stages now i'm going to give you some fruits that is great and is loaded with vitamin C that you can use on your skin on a regular to get that natural glow effortlessly is a pomegranate is one 
We also have lemons or limes. Those are two. And I just talk about the grapefruit, which is good. The kiwi is good for the skin. I use the kiwi on my skin a lot. I don't make a lot of kiwi facial because that's another ingredient that is not available to you know a lot of people. But definitely, if you can get the kiwi, another amazing ingredient to use on your skin, which we don't talk much about, is pam pa da dam pam pam is pam pa da dam pam pam we don't talk much about this ingredient because i use it not so much but it's honey all right so honey is amazing for the skin guys like really and truly amazing for glowing skin that is one ingredient that when you mix it with you know let's say the aloe vera you can get instant glow to the skin. Now, the reason I mentioned to exfoliate the skin before we move on to all these nice natural ingredients is because you need to start with clean skin. Whatever you do in order for your skin to glow, you need to start with clean skin. Another great natural way to get glowing skin effortlessly, guys, is to do clean eating. Clean eating meaning that you're going to pick and choose what to eat. Eat a lot of green vegetables, eat a lot of fruits and um, a lot of like fish, you know, for the omega-3, you know, and always cleanse the gut by eating a lot of fiber and cleansing the system. Because when the system is clean, then the outside is looking amazing because you're going to reap the benefit and drink a lot of water. Those are also natural ingredients that you can use for glowing skin. So not only topically, guys, okay? You can drink up some water, try to drink water. And I'm saying that because I know a lot of you don't drink a lot of water, okay? I have to keep the water right beside me to get my full amount of water. I'm very lousy, lousy at it. When I was growing up, I used to drink a lot of water. Like I just can't get enough water. Uh, the older I get, I realize that is the less water I'm drinking. So it's like I have to be forcing myself to drink water these days, especially when the time is cool. But if you drink a lot of water, you'll see the benefit on the skin. We're going to talk about another natural way. And this is not an ingredient. This is actually an act that you can perform to get glowing skin instantly, which I wish all of you guys would do it and practice is to face the facial massage. Massage your skin, massage your skin, massage your skin. Now, how do we massage the skin? I have several videos and there's a lot all around YouTube where you can find good examples or good teaching of how to massage your face, your neck, and also the rest of your body. All right. So I know a lot of you are going to be like, what? Yes. You go, you get yourself a full body massage. Now, a lot of you guys, I, I, I wonder if I could say, a lot of you guys are wasting time because some of you have other people that could massage for you. And instead of they're there talking off your ears or complaining, let it do the full body massage. If you know, if you get my drifts for all of you who are like, you know, yeah. So definitely guys, you massage your skin. I do a lot of facial massages. Those I do for myself. When it comes on to body massage, once in a while I go and I treat myself to a body massage. And I would suggest that if you can treat yourself to a body massage, go ahead and treat yourself. If not, and you are married or you're with someone, blah, 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 blah. That's the reason. That's some of these the reason they're there is to have to do these things. So interchange you tonight, tomorrow, get yourself a body massage. Now, Lucy, you can download. Um, uh, okay, for the water. No, I cannot say that, Lucy, because if then I would be endorsing that. But if if somebody is listening and want to give me a good app. For the channel to yeah then feel free to get in touch with me but definitely water and we reach vitamin c hydration it is very good to hydrate the skin and when you hydrate your skin a lot every time twice a day 
you definitely will see get a glow to that skin and that's effortlessly it's so easy to moisturize the skin i have some squalene oil right now and i love these i so love these things and squalene oil is what i call a special oil it's a great oil it contains another vitamin that i'm going to talk about and it's good for the skin so one little drop any oil that is that you like and you just use it i'm wearing makeup today but i don't care you just use it to massage the skin. Now, when you massage your skin, um, it's good to use your facial oil or your facial moisturizer. And that's why it's going to be effortless because you have to hydrate the skin. And when you're hydrating the skin, you got to use your own personal, either facial serum, facial cream, or whatever it is to hydrate the skin. Now, when you apply this, you use the same time See how it works? The same time to massage your skin. So you're not going to massage your skin and you got to find time. No, the same time you do. Once you practice them, you know how to, the, to do them pretty, pretty easy. And if it's even two to three minutes per day, apply your facial oils and serum and all that good stuff on your skin and massage your skin while you at it. And we have very many videos on this channel showing you how to do it. Now, guys. If you do all of these and use all these nice ingredients, natural ingredients on your skin, you definitely will have some form of a glow to your skin without even thinking about it. And that is no joke. I'm going to give you an ingredient that because it's so common on YouTube, a lot of people tend to like frown on it. But it's really, really good, especially for those who are just starting out to take care of their skin. It's none other than turmeric. If you have turmeric powder, do not be afraid to use the turmeric, okay? The turmeric is one thing that, for me, my first experience using turmeric on my skin, I noticed that my skin was looking so much clearer just after 30 minutes. And I actually have the video on it, like one of my old video. And I video that, I filmed that, and you could see that instant, that natural glow to my skin, no joke. Now, if you mix that turmeric powder with some aloe vera gel and just massage the skin with it rinse it off after about 30 minutes most people will be blown away at the fast result now when you are done with that you hydrate the skin with your regular moisturizer and you will be glowing no joke use that use that especially if you're new into taking care of your skin if you're on the chat and you have used turmeric powder on your skin feel free to comment. Be very mindful though that the turmeric um, do, you know, a number on your hair. So when you are using it on your skin, avoid like your eyebrows because it definitely will let it fall out, okay? It do inhibit air growth. So be mindful of that with your turmeric powder. The turmeric powder mixed with all yogurt, all remedy, very effective remedy to use on the skin. Milk, guys, milk is another natural ingredient that you are should try to use on your skin if you're not vegan. If you're not vegan, use milk on your skin. As a matter of fact, I know someone that wash, washes their face with milk every day. No joke. Well, that person could afford it. Anyway, but they wash their face with milk every day and they have amazing skin. Amazing skin. No joke. So, if you have access to milk before you leave it in the refrigerator and it go bad and then you run and you go, oh, didn't use up the milk. Use it to wash your face because I'm sure a lot of you, especially a lot of you out there in, you know, like in America, you, you waste a lot of milk. So me too, me included, because if I put a milk, I really don't drink milk. But if I put milk in the fridge where the family is concerned, 90% of the time, this is like a no joke. I got to throw out the, um, the leftover milk. So don't waste it. Use it to wash your face because it's have lactic acid. And for those of you with those sink, those small holes from the shrunken pores that is filled with those blackheads, Guys, this sun grows, 
but some of you might not be aware of those. You see when they show those pictures online about large pores and all those sinkholes and all of that? Do you know those are your pores, right? And in order for them to get to that stage is because they were loaded with dirt and grease and they weren't like you didn't exfoliate it to clean it out. And what happened when it dry, like when they, you have those blackhead, all of that is the dead skin cells that is dried and filled in the pores. So if you don't clean it out after a couple of years, what is going to happen? You're going to find all those little holes on your face. Also, for some people with extremely oily skin, and those pores going to fill with dirt like so often, like all the time, then it's going to leave that really... You know, that gross looking, I, I don't even know if to use the word gross because some people are going to be like, oh, it's because your skin look amazing why you're saying it like that. But that is one of the reasons why I also preach a lot on this channel. Exfoliate, exfoliate, exfoliate. And this is have nothing to do with being vain because uh, most people, most people out there want to look good. It's not even about your clothes. You could wear a little raggedy, raggedy, raggedy looking clothes and your face look amazing and people notice it. And this is no joke. When your skin is clean and clear looking, and when I use the word clear guys, please understand that I'm not talking about skin color. Because some people tend to run with the word clear and think that, oh, she likes to talk about clear skin and clear skin goes with bleaching skin. No, you could be as dark as a tar baby and you have clear skin, okay? You could be as white as snow and you have clear skin. You could be as white as snow and you have hyperpigmentation on your skin. You could be as dark as a tar baby and you have hyperpigmentation on the skin. So just know that when I say clear skin, it's from the top of the spectrum to the very end of the spectrum. And I hope you guys get that right. Okay. We're not throwing words around loosely. You only, we only have milk powder and guess what? Just as good, just as good, just as good. Mix it out in some water better yet. Mix it with a little bit of a green tea. Okay, cold. Make sure the green tea is cooled. Mix that milk powder with some green tea and use that to wash your face. Oh, I got to try that later. Mm, 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 mm. Just think about for those of you with fine lines and wrinkles and you're looking to shrink those wrinkles to smooth those wrinkles, definitely try that. Milk with some green tea or milk powder. I know in the islands, a lot of people tend to use a lot of milk powder these days. Definitely use it up because... Those of you who like to drink a lot of smoothies, there's so many things out there these days. I just recently discovered coconut um, powder. I bought it because it's good for the smoothies and stuff like that. So they have so many things out there that you can use to not only to nourish your body, but to use it topically on your skin. And I know I complete my five, but I'm telling you how to get your glowing skin with simple ingredients naturally. All right, Josephine, um, um, don't beauty out. Um, don't spam my channel, okay? You could actually ask me nicely and I will do it for you. So if you keep doing that, the system is going to throw you out because I set the system to do that. But you could ask me nicely. All right. Okay. All right. And we also have, um, uh, yeah, powder milk in the 60s. When I was, I, I'm like early 70s, but when I was going to school, Back in the island of Jamaica, we used to get powder milk at school. I don't think they do these things anymore. We used to get powder milk at school. They would send the powder milk to the school. The school would mix it, give it to us to drink lunchtime, put syrup in it, mix it, make it even nicer. And at the end of each school year, they would ask us to bring like paper bags and stuff like that. And whatever is left over, they would give it to us, you know, a pound, two pounds, each kid take home something. 
However, when you, by the time we get home, all of that will be finished because we'll be eating it on the way home. Whatever is left when we get home, our parents is mad. We white as powdery as ever. They throw the powder on us out of the house and all that kind of good stuff back then. Those were what causes like the drama those days, innocent drama, unlike what is happening today. All right. So then you have your kids that smelling little smelly, smelly. For those of you who know how powder's milk was back then and we would be like you know farting all over the place and you know i don't even know if that they still have that kind of effect and kids anymore the powdered milk but yeah definitely but now it come full circle and it's back and stream and i notice a lot of people nowadays is turning back to using powdered milk but that's my little history of powdered milk if you have a similar history with powdered milk depending on where you're from you can also feel free to comment all right maya morrison powdered milk and bulgur i used to love me some bulgur when they cook that bulgur at school and they do the little um um curry chicken with it oh my plate up front anyway <laughs> that's some old time talk we're talking about but yeah and guess what guys now i go to the store believe it or not because i'm trying to eat healthy and i go to the store and i actually purchase bulgur um in um um oh i totally forget the country there's this country that they use a lot of um austria and these places they use a lot of bulgur there like how we use rice which is bulgur is more healthy but when you go to the grocery now to you buy the bulgur is really expensive i have this brand that i buy i don't want even want to call the name and the bulgur is so expensive but i still use it because i know all of that fiber cleansing the guts and cleansing the skip system leaving the skin glowing i don't want to to to, to to switch. Okay, Gina Gina, I chichi. Can I use rosehip oil and face without mixing it? Yes, you can. You can. You can. I use it on the face without mixing it. But I I consider it to be a special oil. And because it's a special oil, and most cases we tend to pay a little more for it, and a little goes a long way. I prefer to mix it with a carrier oil just to, you know, stretch it out a little because you really don't need a lot. But if you have it like that, just use it. You could use it on your face just like that. The only oil that I don't rec recommend, two oils I don't recommend to use directly on the skin, vitamin A oil always mix it and this new oil that i'm using the bachi oil i don't suggest that you use it on your skin directly you use a carrier oil with it just so when i was a kid my mom used to give me needle milk all right so and i'm pretty sure that is a form of a um milk powder thing but that i think is also a brand all right so middle east i use in my food that's a bulgar thing people are actually talking about see and chichi it was actually milk and biscuit <laughs> all right if we we could have a show talking about these things guys all right margaret for me it's better to use the turmeric at night as the sun darkens the skin that's very good darken the skin when using turmeric during the day and that is actually a wonderful wonderful comment yes 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 some things that you use on the skin you got to be mindful and that's also one of the reason why when it comes on to turmeric i also suggest that you use the turmeric on your skin indoor like about 30 minutes and then you rinse off tomorrow i think tomorrow or if not the day after i am gonna actually post a facial wash using a turmeric powder okay a facial wash that you can wash your face with every day using the turmeric powder that is what i have coming up for you guys and i so want you guys to try it and comment use it for a week or two and comment it's amazing i'm using it this week and next week i think maybe tomorrow two days or so the video is gonna be up all right so definitely that's a good comment and be mindful guy sunscreen you want your skin to glow you don't want it to burn okay so definitely definitely load up on some sunscreen and if you watch last week chat i think it's gonna tell you exactly you know and going a little deeper about using sunscreen and making sure that your day moisturizer contain sunscreen we're talking about using 
natural. I put five. I normally just put a number for number sake. However, we normally do way more than what is listed. And we are talking about using natural ingredient to effortly give your skin that glowing look. All right. I have some names down here. I notice I have rosy oil, which we have cocaine oil. I just talked about Quailene oil. I'm just making sure I cover all of what I wanted to share with you guys. Okay, rose water. Rose water is another natural ingredient that you can use on your skin for glowing skin. Perfect, perfect, perfect for glowing skin. And you're going to use that rose water in the form of a toner. Now, I know some of you be like, oh, you say natural though, but you know natural, we buy it in a bottle. Yes, but it's natural. You look for the word natural when you're buying rose water or just make it yourself. Just as though you brew the green tea, that's the same way you could do the rose water. Now they have a lot of organic, and I do have it home also, the rose petal with no con form of a chemical additives or anything like that that you can actually buy and you could brew it yourself you could choose to drink it or you can choose to use it as to make facial stuff facial toner and stuff like that but it's a natural way to get glowing skin effortlessly how do you use that rose water you use it as the facial toner right after you wash your face after you wash your face and if you have a lot i mentioned this recently i have a friend i went to the house and she have like cases of rose water and I was like, oh, watching my channel a lot, Ooh, but this is excess. However, what she does, she uses the rose water to wash her face. Mm -hmm. People do a lot of things to have glowing skin. So make your own. And while you're at it, drop two tea bags in there or some loose leaf chamomile or green tea. Brew that up, shake it up, put it in your refrigerator and use it to spritz on your face or use it on a cotton pad and just wipe your face with it after you finish washing your face. This is no joke. And believe this, if you wash your face, okay? wash your face and you put nothing else on your face but some good rose water, your face is going to feel amazing. And if you don't believe me, give it a try. Wash your face, put the rose water in the refrigerator, the one you make or the one you buy in the store. After you finish wash, washing your face, splash the rose water on it and splat it on and just leave it for a couple of hours. You are going to be so amazed. Like, really? This really works this well? Yes, it does. Rose water has been used for centuries for beauty care. Like, Asian, like, it's like one of the first, you know, discovery when it comes on to skincare. And for today, it's still, you know, keeping up keeping up with the Joneses. It's still out there and it is still very much good for your skin. So we talk about five to 15 to 20 natural ingredients that you can use effortlessly for glowing skin. And we all know first rule for glowing skin is to wash your face and exfoliate your skin. Then you hydrate the skin, then you massage that skin and you don't have to do all of that in a row. Like I'm saying it today, you do it today, you do it tomorrow and so on and so forth. And if you wear makeup and all else fail, then you definitely can't forget the highlight. I love this palette, guys. I'm not even going to tell you what it is. Yeah, I just love this palette. And it's highlighter. And you just, you know, for the makeup lovers, just highlight the cheekbones. And you get glow to the skin. But this is not a natural glow, though. But it's still glow. Uh -huh. I'm barely touching it, okay? But I just bring this palette on just for demonstration in the beginning. But guys, definitely, definitely, definitely um, hydrate your skin. And vitamin C. Oh, did I talk about vitamin A? I think I forget to talk about vitamin A. Vitamin A, like, you know, really talk about it. Vitamin A is another way for glowing skin, that you can get effort, less lay. And yeah, I think I did talk about vitamin A. Some of the in things that have the vitamin A, you're mostly gonna find those in the form of oils for the skin topically, like the rose ape, the cacao oil, you know, those oils do contain vitamin A. And when we talk about vitamin A, we talk about retinol, um, retinoid, uh, those two. And one of the reasons why they use a 
lot of vitamin A on the skin is because vitamin is A is one vitamins that help to boost the collagen production in the skin. For those of you who starting to see the sign of aging with wrinkles, fine lines, crow's feet, deep parentheses, then you need to use that, that vitamin A in your skincare products. So whether you're gonna buy a store-bought anti-aging cream, or you're gonna get some natural vitamin A, get your regular oil and you know blend it up together and use it on your skin, or you're gonna use some amazing facial homemade mask that I make on this channel, make sure you get some vitamin A on your skin, all right? And I did list a few. Rosehip oil down ants is my favorite. However, as I said, it does not contain the same amount of vitamin A as the cacao oil, which have more. But if you're looking for one good one right across the board, the rosehip oil. The ova oil is also great for the skin. And the one I just mentioned is another good one. This is the squalene oil. And these I call fancy oil, which, you know, most people don't have access to. And the one that I'm really digging and I'm really into these days is the Morella oil. All right. If you can get it and you can give it a go, give it a go. The good thing about these is that when you buy a little bottle like this, which is 30 ml, this could last you like months. No joke, because all you need is one drop. It can last you more. When it comes on to our oils, more don't mean more. Using more on the skin don't mean you're going to get a better result. The most important thing is the way you apply it to the skin to make sure that it absorbs in the skin. So one to two drops of any of these carry um, fancy oil is good for your skin. All right, let's, whoo, time. Where is the time? As bulgur is a kind of wheat, can you use wheat flour and ground milk on your face? And yes, and we have a lot of, not a lot, but we have a couple of videos on this channel using wheat flour. It's like an underdog. And a couple of months ago, I spoke about the flour, which I was telling my subscribers that if I make a video, let's say I use make a video with Fuller's Earth and you cannot get your hands on Fuller's Earth, you can substitute with plain old flour. So you could go back and watch some of those uh, video, but definitely, yes, you can use the flour and I've been researching the flour. However, one of the reasons why flour tend to get a bad rap is because of the wheat. And when we mention about the wheat, um, when it comes down to skincare, I'm talking about why you don't see people use a lot of flour in their skincare because some people are allergic to wheat and to be on the safe side, then they tend to leave it out. But if you know you're not allergic to wheat or, you know, these kind of stuff, play around with it. I like to make myself a good flower mask, but I like to just think about a turmeric mask using flour. And I think that's the one I have on this channel. Amazing, amazing. And just add some aloe vera to that and you're good to go. Um, Chichi, black seed oil also help to grow your hair. Yes, and I think I also have a video using the black seed oil for an ear oil. If you research my channel, you probably will find that. I soak that black seed oil in some coconut oil. I infuse it for a couple of weeks, and then I use it as an ear oil. And hey, you're talking about hair oil. You don't, you, you don't oil your hair, you wear a wig. No, on the hair is hair. On the hair is hair. And I have to maintain it by using all these wonderful, amazing thing. And I promise you guys, next year, I'm going to start to come on the channel with, you know, natural hair. So some of you want some natural ear video, wait for next year. You're going to get it. Okay. You are going to get it. Natural hair coming on. I haven't processed my ear for like nearly 10 years now. So it's all natural on the there, but I'm yet to show you guys. So it's coming in the future. All right, Lucy. Um, bulgur is crack wheat flour is a processed wheat and white flour is bleach all right so the bulgur guys is almost like brown sugar and white sugar with a bulgur and and flour anyway we'll get into that i know there are a lot of people you can research the bulgur for those of you who don't know what the bulgur is research it here if you live like in america or if you live in europe london some places like that it's gonna be considered out food so you're gonna find it in the 
health food department. Okay, so when you go in the grocery store, that's where you're gonna find it. All where they have like the quinoa and the and the um, couscous. That's the section you're gonna find it in because it's considered health and it's also considered luxury. Okay, if you get the drip, it's like authentic. All right, so that's the side that you're going to look for the bulga. But it's very, very good, though. For those of you with, like, a big belly and you're trying to flush that system out, you can eat up that bulga. For those of you who, like, you know, you have to take a lot of things to go, like you really need that fast turnaround, that bulga is going to do it for you. Just going to just flush it out like that. No joke. Just, you know, flush it out. And for those of you who's trying to get rid of all that starch, then you definitely could turn to the bulga because that is in its raw stage. There's still carbohydrate in it, but not as much as the processed flour, okay? Or even the rice, okay? All right, so um, my time is up, guys. So let me just do some... Did you like the show today? Did you like the topic? Did you learn anything? I really like your feedback. We have about um, 91 still watching. If you have not yet, thumbs the video up please thumbs up the video and um, so that we know that you like it. But seriously, guys, do you like these kind of topics or do you prefer for me not to go in so much technical stuff when it comes on to explaining the ingredient and telling you like, you know, what is being used out there? Just let me know so I could actually tweak the show a bit to, you know, to um, keep you guys watching longer and participating more. Kitchen, I did papaya seed oil. And the papaya seed oil is, as I said, oh, I haven't seen Rita on the chat today. Oh, I guess she's very busy, but she's the one who introduced me to the papaya oil. And I so love it, like really and truly, really and truly love it. All right. Um, mercy, blessing, man, I miss everything. Well, you don't because you could go back and you could watch it when the show is over, okay? Now, guys, I really need your feedback. I really need your feedback on Let's Talk Skincare because it's a new show that we introduced a couple of months. And going on to the next year, 2020, we're not sure if we're going to bring back Let's Talk Skincare unless the supporters, the subscribers really and truly be like, yeah, we like Let's Talk Skincare, keep it going. So that's the reason why we are asking for the thumbs up. We set it to at least 100 thumbs up per show. If at the end of the show, we don't get 100 thumbs up, we always think that oh, it probably wasn't a good show or the topic was off. So we are kind of analyzing those things. So when you watch the show, to support, you either thumbs it up or just comment and say, well, the show is good today or, you know, the topic is a little drawn out. Just feel free. And we're open to any form of a comment when it comes on to telling us about the, the, the show, whether you like it, yes or no. All right. Okay. So Jason, for me, it's a pleasure to learn about exchange with you as a French and I understand so well. Thank you for that. Laura, I did not get the answer to the question. If I can use um, lanolin for my face and I am not sure what that is. A part of me think I know what it is, but I'm not sure. If you're on the chat and you know what she's talking about, feel free to, you know, um, let me know what it is. Joseph, the show was good today. Thank you so much. Ella Mo, Chichi, I had scars on my arms um, and um, ivory allergy from I live in the mountains and vitamin E oil diminished the appearance. Uh, yes, vitamin E oil helped to diminish the appearance of scars. However, try to do a couple of those facial masks that I use like the potato in, those are like some no joke, okay? For real, those are like some no joke if you're really trying to get rid of the scars. And another ingredient that don't smell so well but help with scars is onions. Onions, mix that onion juice with some potato, keep it in your fridge, use a cotton pad wherever you have the scar, but you have to do it all the time. Best to do it in the evening, you leave it on overnight and you watch it, wash it off in the morning. It's really, really 
good. But as I said, you got to keep doing it. Okay. All right. Um, Jill Adi, do you need facial serum for your face? And please, what products can you recommend? Yes. So I guess you are new. I could tell when you're new. You definitely need a facial serum. I always encourage my subscribers to use a facial toner. On top of the facial toner, you use a facial serum. And on top of that serum, you use a facial moisturizer, which can be a store-bought or your favorite oils and so on and so forth. Now, when it comes down to facial serum, I cannot just tell you to use this serum, that serum, because I don't know your skin type. So I would have to know all of those kind of things before. And I also have to know where you live, what you could get and all of that before I recommend something. But when all is said and done, you could email me and see if I replied to the email but you definitely have to say, okay, well, I have oily skin. I'm this amount of an age and all of that. It takes a lot to just tell you, use this facial serum on your skin because they have a wide variety of facial serum for a wide variety of different issues on the skin. Some is for dry skin, um, anti-aging. Some is just to moisturize. Some is to brighten, you know, and so on and so forth. Okay. When all else fail, look at my channel and whip yourself up a natural homemade facial serum to begin with. Okay. All right. Um, Peggy, L Food Store and Corps are great for trying natural products to buy. And that is so true. If you live in places where you could um, get a good L Food Store. All right. If you might live somewhere where you might just have to go outside and pick something. So bear that in mind. All right. Celine, um, Celinis, C I R Celine, C E L I N E, um, Rosario. Uh, Rosario. Where is that again? Rosario. I did the papaya serum and overnight cream. All right. So you did it. So let me know how was it for you? Did you like it? What was the drawback? If you have to change anything in it, what would you have changed? All right. So we also have, um, um, Kendall Weaver. I learned a lot. Thank you. Thank you for that. And we all, hi, Jade Duchess. How are you? Details are good. Thank you so much for that. And we also have, um, Josephine, um, Josephine, uh, I think I'm going to mess the surname up. B-E-I-B-Z. I learned something. Thanks. Thank you so much for that. And that's what we want to hear. I want to make sure that when you walk away from Let's Talk Skincare, because that's what Let's Talk Skincare is all about. It's not only sharing the natural remedies, but just you know, entertaining and educating you guys a little bit more and ingredients and stuff like that. And I still remember, guys, that I promised that I will do the video of how to read the skincare labels on your favorite skincare products. I still remember that and I definitely will get it done. Thank you so much. I did not post a video this morning because I have so, uh, so much things went on this week. It was like, you know, a lot of work didn't get done. However, I have the video and I might still post it at around about four o'clock or so. If not, it's going to be up tomorrow morning. Uh, my week was a mess. It was like just a crazy week. And I didn't, and if you watch my channel a lot, you probably will also know that I repeat a few videos this week. I edit them and switch them around and all of that. It's not going to be happening all the time. It's just when life take a hold and I'm busy and I can't get to get the work done. But new stuff coming up starting maybe this evening because I had the videos already now or tomorrow. So looking forward, you'll know that there's new stuff with new ingredients. And I have a lot of things for you guys like... No joke. I have a lot of things with some of these stuff I'm going to be sharing on the, the vlog channel. I ordered a lot of stuff. I get some stuff like this set. Um, um, yes, I have so much stuff going on, like um, ice roller. Like um, it's a lot of things I have for you guys. Lava Beauty. This is um quartz roller. I have... um some new oils. Um, I can't even read. I don't even know what is wrapped in this one. This is um, kiwi oil. All this stuff coming up, guys. I have um, snail gel. So there's a lot of stuff in the work for you guys to see. I even have bird nest. Look at this. Um, some bird nest eye patches. So all these good stuff. I have a lot of show coming up for you guys. And 
we're going to have a wonderful time. So some of these things you probably know, some of you are probably using some of these stuff, but we're going to be demonstrating and we're going to be just talking about the good stuff that we use on our skin. And I use a lot of these on my skin too, guys. I love them. I don't go for the very, very expensive ones because they get the job done just the same. You can also use some of these stuff for massage. Some of you who get like Christmas... <coughs> holiday present from me get some of these stuff in your um in your gift giving and the holiday season is coming up and i don't forget that we're going to be doing our holiday giveaway and you guys if you're oldies you know it go if you're newbies you don't know it go but you know we're gonna start in um a few weeks from a few weeks what am i talking about we probably should have started already we're on the sunday chat that is we take names everybody that comment on the show we take the names we shake it up in a bag and then we give away like about 10 to 15 presents and you know, just a little little fun thing for the channel, giving back to you for supporting the channel for the entire year. So some of these stuff we give away. But I have a lot of good stuff coming up for you guys. It's going to be, I'm, I'm trying to be young and hip. It's going to be lit, okay? All right, guys. I love you guys. Have a good weekend. Take care of you. Effortly effortless glow to the skin, wash your skin, hydrate the skin, use vitamin C, use vitamin A, get a grapefruit, use it on your skin, use some brown sugar on the skin, use some orange, aloe vera, lemon, whatever it takes to have your skin looking amazing. Go ahead, try homemade products, try store-bought products, just have fun taking care of you. Because remember, and this is one thing I always emphasize on, Sometimes it's really not about taking care of your skin. It's about taking time for yourself, okay? And we often forget to take time for ourselves. And when you just choose something to do, some people do yoga, some people, you know, exercise, some people knit, some people just do some little things for their own personal time. And that is what we, we choose to emphasize on this channel that when you're making this good stuff for your skin, it's like double duty because you're taking a little time to pamper yourself to feel special and also to relax the mind and body i love you guys and i'll see you on sunday sunday chit chat with chichi beauty if you have missed the lineup of video for this week go and watch the video just to support and also share the videos and uh, you know talk to your friends about it we have merchandise you see them list below you can always go in the shop browse around just for your support and i'll see you guys have a great weekend love you guys and i'm gonna go get some food to eat now <laughs> i'll see you soon bye-bye bye guys